Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, I'm doing a product review on Longstar Grill's new fire management basket. You guys stay tuned. Let me show you all the details about this basket. Check it out. So I got this basket the other day um, from Lone Star Grill. Wanted to try it out and, and, and see what it was all about, you know, in the in my Lone Star Grill offset smoker. Uh, the offset smoker that I have, it's a 30 by 36 uh, cabinet style offset smoker. And, and it's got a massive firebox. It's the standard size firebox. I think it's the 24 by 24 inch. And it's and the, the entire um, smoker, it's, it's made out of quarter inch steel. So when I got this the other day uh, to try out in my in my smoker and it arrived in the mail, the first impression was that it is heavy duty. It is it's got some oomph to it. Okay, it's not lightweight. Uh, it, it, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Okay, as you can see, I'm not sure how much it weighs, but the the material that it's made out of. Uh, I want to say it's not quarter inch steel. It looks more like three sixteenths. The length wise on, on this basket, outside to outside, it's roughly about 19 and an eighth uh, inches long. So uh, it should be able to sit flush uh, to the back of the, 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 the firebox. And, and as you can see right here on the side, it's got uh, an opening right here. You know, and this opening is designed for um, for the fire assist. So if you have the fire assist on your smoker, um, it'll just go right through it. Um, so 19 and a quarter inches long. Uh, on the top, from outside to outside, it looks about 14 and an eighth as well. So the inside. Almost 13, uh, no, 13 and a half, almost 13 and three quarters inches, you know, the top part. Uh, inside, the, the V shape of it is roughly about eight inches. So it's, it's designed to be able to hold, uh, you know, splits, you know, in that capacity. So it's whatever splits you're putting right now inside of your Lone Star uh, Grill Offset Smoker, you know, this fire management basket should be able to handle it. The other thing that in, that impressed me about it, uh, and and what I feel that this basket stands above plenty of the other baskets that I've seen out in the market, is that the entire thing is made out of steel. Okay, and it's and it's uh, the only thing that's in here that's made out of expanded metal is the bottom, and and it's not even welded in there. The expanded metal comes out, and the the, the purpose for this is when your wood split starts to break down and it's hot ashes uh this expanded metal will start to break down you know it'll start to wear down and get thinner and thinner and thinner so what's going to happen once this is no longer useful for you you know you just throw this away and get you a new piece of expanded metal you know and slide it right in there but that should last you a very very long time the the other thing that i found very impressive was was all the holes on the side it's got 32 holes on on this side 32 holes on the other nine holes uh, on the back part and the front right here is completely open so it's going to allow for a uh, massive airflow uh, to come through and feed your fire uh, you know this that, that your splits are burning it's a fire bas basket that i feel it's gonna last you a very, very long time. If this basket, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised that it'll last me the lifetime of my uh, of, of my smoker as well. You know, and, and you know, I think my smoker is gonna last me a very long time. Uh, they're just built well. You know, you, you can't go wrong with the Lone Star Grill, uh, you know, product. They they make them very good. This weekend, I gotta do some chicken wings for uh, for some friends of ours at our church and uh i'm gonna put this basket to test and see how it holds or see how it helps hold the temps inside my smoker so but uh, besides that you know if you ain't got you one of these you know uh you need to get you one these are very nice okay the 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 welds on it you know very you, you know you can see that the welds where the, where they put it together you know are, 
or you know the, the guys over there in the weld shop you know are professionals they're stacking these welds with a nice little bead you know and they call it stacking dines you know very 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 good uh you know uh, welds on this product all right well no chattering let's put this bad boy to the test i've been up all night um smoking briskets and now i got some chicken inside my lone star grill offset smoker and it was perfect opportunity to you know try out this basket and see what it's all about uh, basket um, has performed i want to say flawlessly you know it it does what it what it's supposed to do it's kept everything um in line you know when the fire basket is installed inside of your your firebox uh, the port for the gas assist uh, goes right into it and your logs will stack right there. You like that gas assist up and you know logs are on fire. I think the thing I like most about it is that it's kept everything uh, since it's got a little V shape it's kept all my logs you know in 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 that spot so once those logs burn down and turn into coals just drop another one right on top of it and just keep that cycle going and going until you're done with your cook the basket does come out uh, almost to the edge and i'm gonna show it to you in just a little bit it comes out almost to the edge of the the grate that normal that, that comes with your with your with your offset smoker from lone star grill that big old half inch grate um so if your splits are a little bit too long you know you may need to cut them down that way they fit inside of the basket uh, or you may have to maybe position them up just to you know at an angle you know because once they catch on fire you know the the embers will break down you know the split and or the split will break down into embers and then it'll just fall into the basket let me show it to you show you what, what we got going on i'm only going to open it for just a little bit But that's it right there. I got a piece of pecan and I got some oak in there and it's a uh, rock in the temperature roughly about 240 245. So uh, as you can see it, it fits flush all the way to the back and it's almost flush with the with the grill grate and the holes on the side of it and that V shape allow for that air to come in. Let me go ahead and close this up. You know allow for that air to come in and create i don't know what you would call it some kind of vortex uh because once the fire does you know start up and it starts drawing the air in or the oxygen in to feed itself you know it's being drawn in through those holes and it creates some kind of like a little vortex right there uh and then it just performs flawlessly it just gets hot and um and it maintains the temperature no problem you know i i think uh throughout the night every hour 45 minutes to an hour i have to come out here and put a put another split and let me show you how big my splits are okay they're about the size of my splits right here you know i get them um you know from this fella over there on the east side of orange county and this is the perfect size you know to fit inside that basket you know it's, it's just perfect now i got some other ones let me show you this one now this one right here this is a piece of pecan you know this is way too long but you could fit it in at an angle or something like that and you know you should be good to go so like my pecan you know i want to thank uh chris over at lone star grill for making such a an awesome product uh, appreciate him you know sponsoring this video and if you, and I also want to thank my viewers and of course I want to thank my my patreons uh, that help support this channel um, if you're interested in becoming a, a patreon there'd be a link right here and it'll pop up right there in the corner you know got you guys go out there and check out my patreon page it's got a uh, perks on it um, you know that I do every month that I give away to my uh, uh, you know to my patrons but besides that guys i appreciate every single one of you guys i love you i gotta get back to cooking and i will talk to y'all later see ya